what up guys so right now we are on the inland seas boat as you see it's a sailboat and we have three types of invasive species today right here are a collection of dead goby so here's the biggest one we found and the problem with these fishes are they are an invasive species so that means they are overpopulating and taking over they are competitors of the native species so a lot of native species um, the Great Lakes have died off because of these little monsters, but at least all the ones in here are dead. Now moving on, we're going to see some zebra mussels and some quagga mussels. So you might have seen these more, they get attached to the end of boats. So here's some zebra mussels right here and some quagga mussels. Hold on, can anybody show her the difference between the zebra and the quagga cosmetically? Yeah, can, yeah what do, what's the difference? So the zebra mussels, that's not a zebra mussel. They're right. over, here. over here. I kept them okay. separated. Yeah, so the zebra mussels, they're like, it's a 90 degree angle. Uh -huh. Right there, they're really flat. And the quagga mussels are like really just full. Okay. Yeah. And what's the problem with these mussels? What are they, what are they doing to the Great Lakes? Why are they a bad thing? They filter out all the nutrients. So okay. That's good. And then it makes it feed the zooplankton. Okay. That's a good answer. <laughs> so, as you see on our boat today, we learned a lot. And we learned why it's so important to wash your boat thoroughly. And this boat is a great example of how they wash it thoroughly every couple of years. And even though this boat is a, it doesn't particularly move to any other bodies of water. But for many people who like boating and traveling, and who move, move their same boat to different rivers and lakes every year, it is you have to wash it every time. And the example of the amount of zebra mussels you can find in quagga mussels are just the reasons why you gotta wash your boat. This is Anna Kajaglin signing off.